Hey everyone, welcome back. So what are IVs and EVs? Every Revomon is generated with a different set of invisible values, otherwise known as IV, that determines the size of the original stats. Some Revomon are generated with higher stats than others, and that is based on the numbers that you can find right here while looking at a Revomon in your PC. IVs cannot be changed, but they can go anywhere from 1 to 31. Finding Revomon with perfect IVs is insanely hard, but doable. Natures also affect a Revomon's IVs. Each nature increases one stat value by 10% but decreases another stat by 10%. So if you have a neutral nature, it does neither. The higher IVs of the Revomon, the higher the overall stat is going to end up being. Now for EVs, to train a Revomon to their maximum potential, you've got to gain EVs as well. To start, EVs aren't easy to obtain. They take time and they take effort. Hence why they are called effort values. You can, however, see your EVs, and they are located right here while looking at a Revomon in the PC. Effort values are equivalent to strength and conditioning. Over time, after knocking out so many Revomon, you'll have higher stats. All in all, you can have a total of 510 EVs, but really only 508 of those are actually useful. This is because for every 4 EVs you accumulate, 1 stat point. Each stat can only have a maximum of 255 EVs. So the order is usually 252 EVs to two important stats, saving the last four for a different stat, which will only give you one additional point in that stat. Whenever you knock out a Revamon, they can give anywhere between 1 and 3 EVs to every Revomon that was in battle. However, at this time, only one Revomon that is consistently farmable can give more than 1 EV, and that is Echo Mouse, that can give up to 2 EVs in speed per 1 knockout. So that means after knocking out 2 Echo Mouse, you've effectively gained 1 additional stat point into speed. Here I'll have the following categories that you can pause at if you need to, to show you exactly what Revomon to chase for which stat that you need. And there you have it, your super quick and easy guide to IVs and EVs. If this helps you, please share so others know about it, and let us know what other information you'd like for us to cover. I'm Ginger Stash YouTube and Game, and I hope to see you there. Feel free to say hello, and thanks for watching.